All right, there you go. Well, um, thanks for joining us, Hope. Um, I guess we can start out with, um, you can tell me a little bit about yourself if you'd like, um, if you're interested in any sort of involvement opportunities here at Wichita State or, you know, what you're looking for. Yeah, okay. So I really want to get involved in, a, in any way possible. Um, I finished two years at WSU Tech and mm -hmm. the problem I ran into was I was so busy um, working full time and then I uh, got married and um, we uh, were expecting most of my time during school. So I was just so busy. Um, and a lot of times the events I couldn't bring my daughter to, um, I would ask, you know, hey, is it possible? And their recommendation, you know, was, you know, oh, maybe not. And so, um, I mean, I know that she's only been here seven weeks, but um, I've been able to take her to one event, um, but I really want to find events that are family friendly and um, I'm able to bring not just myself, like not just as a single person, but as a family. So okay. even if, you know, there's things that I can bring my husband with me, you know, because mm -hmm. it's so much easier to care for, you know, a baby when you've got another set of hands. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we definitely have some of that. So I can talk about that a little bit uh, during this presentation, but um, I guess I'll go ahead and present myself. Um, my name is Kaylee Archer and I'm the coordinator of marketing for student involvement. So a little bit about us. Uh, we are committed to providing opportunities for students to engage in extracurricular activities. Um, so we want you to make the most of your college experience. Um, there's many exciting ways that you can get involved at Wichita State, um, whether that's joining a student organization, um, developing leadership skills, participating in community service, planning campus events, or even joining a Greek organization. Um, there's really about anything that you could do here. So um, going to the next slide, um, joining a community creates meaningful relationships and lifelong memories. Wichita State has over 300 student organizations uh, spanning a wide variety of interests. So we have sport clubs, cultural clubs, gaming clubs, and almost everything in between, like anything you can imagine. Um, all of our student organizations are hosted on an online portal called Shocker Sync. Shocker Sync allows you to search for organizations, find events, and also track your own involvement. Um, and that's a really good tool for you if you're looking to join an organization. You can get a hold of um, members that way and reach out. Um, here in student involvement, we uh, closely advise some of these. Um, Community Service Board is one. Uh, it's a student organization that works to address issue, issues of public concern um, through service and within the community. So they bring students together to develop service events that create a positive impact in our community. Um, it's a great way to get together with some friends and do some community service. Um, I don't know what kind of classes you'll be taking or if you have any scholarships or anything like that, but you know, typically for some of those classes or scholarships, you might have community service hours that you need to complete. So this is also a great way to get those hours knocked out. Um, if you're interested in fraternity and sorority life, um, they are full of tradition, brotherhood and sisterhood and pride here. Um, it gives you an opportunity to develop leadership skills, um, giving back through philanthropy and meeting new friends who share similar interests and values. We currently have 26 fraternities and sororities um, that have a variety of different backgrounds and values and missions. Um, Student Activities Council is the primary programming board here at Wichita State. They host up to about 50 to 60 events per year. Some of these events include trivia nights, paint nights. Um, they do a lot of DIYs. They bring performers in. Um, drag show is one of their bigger ones um, and many other events. They're a lot of fun. Um, a lot of these members gain experience in event planning, management, and marketing. And it's a way for these students to network with um, WSU administration and staff and their peers as well. So, um, you know, like I said, there's hundreds of ways of getting involved at Wichita State. And 
we do have something if you're unable to find your fit um, we're able to help we have student involvement ambassadors and they're here to help you um, find the best opportunity for yourself so you can meet with them one on one and they will provide you recommendations based on your interests and your schedule and availability. Kaylee, we do have a quick question. Oh. Um, do sororities require um, students to live in the house, the sorority houses? No, um, actually, I don't believe any of our houses, um, there's maybe one or two and see, I am new coordinator um, and I will have to check on some of this information with fraternity and sorority life but um, most of the houses are not live-in for sororities. So um, they have some of them, the Panhellenic Council have houses, there's five, um, and they will meet and do their meetings there and their philanthropy efforts, um, but it's not live-in. So yes, good question. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking for just other ways to get involved, um, we have we always have something going on on campus um, and attending events is a perfect way to you know have some fun and meet new people um, at the beginning of the fall semester we host back to school bash it's a kickoff to the new academic year and there's a bunch of free food free shirts and a lot of fun there's always inflatables and yard games you know a bunch of activities to do um, and you see some of these also on the list and i won't you know, go over every one, but you know, for you um, who's looking for some family fun events, we have that as well. Um, we always have family weekend, um, so you're able to bring your family here and promote some shocker pride that way. Um, there's trunk or treat, so a lot of the organizations will participate in this, and they give out candy to kids around Halloween. Um, that one's a big event, and a lot of organizations get involved with that. That one's a lot of fun. Um, and there's family carnival, so um, that's outdoors, uh, I believe typically in the spring, and um, they have a lot of carnival events and things that you can bring your family to. So those are some good ones that you will definitely want to check out when you come here. Um, but as for other events as well, um, you know, there's, like I said, always something going on. So the best way to keep track is of what's going on is to follow us on social media as well as subscribe to our weekly newsletter. It's the Newsy. So below in the right-hand corner, there's a QR code. If you feel like subscribing to our newsletter, um, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah. Um, so there's also a lot of service opportunities here within student involvement. Um, Student Government Association empowers students to voice their opinions through campus committees and weekly public senate meetings. Uh, SG is governed by students and committed to student issues and concerns. Uh, they have a couple initiatives that I think are worth mentioning. Um, one is the Shocker Support Locker. They provide food, clothing, toiletries, baby and family products to students, faculty, and staff at Wichita State. Um, they're located in Grace Wilkie Hall, and it's a great opportunity if you're needing some extra help and needing some items that you can go and pick those up. Um, Another initiative is food for fines. So if you were to get a parking citation, um, there are certain times throughout the semester that rather than paying for that ticket, you can donate food or hygiene items. Um, to put, it's seven to 14 food or hygiene items depending on the price of the citation. Um, and this is a way to support the shocker support locker while also providing a cheaper opportunity to pay for your ticket. So those are a couple um, good things that you might wanna check out as well. Um, we also have many opportunities for service within the Wichita community. I already mentioned community service board a little bit. Um, we host all, all these opportunities on volunteer ICT. Uh, it's an online portal that provides you all these different service opportunities based on your interest. Um, if you're wanting to volunteer with a specific agency or a specific location around Wichita, then you're able to go search that and find some opportunities for you. There are many leadership um, programs available to help you develop your skills. Um, through series programs, conferences, events, and learning tools, students have the opportunity to choose how they would like to learn about leadership. 
So Emerging Leaders is the perfect opportunity to take the first step into leadership at Wichita State. This is a semester long program and it helps students develop their leadership abilities through workshops, activities, and reflections. And um, beyond the leadership programs, we also have a, a gallery. So I don't know if you knew that, but Student Involvement runs a cat, uh, the Cadman Art Gallery. It's located on the first floor of the Radigan Student Center. Um, so the gallery encourages, encourages students of any major to apply to the exhibit. Um, this is a teaching space that offers students to design, curate, and market their own sh shows. Um, they also offer art competitions um, each semester that features cash prizes. So if you're interested in showing any sort of art or um, a showcase for that, this is for any major. I believe I was told you're a business major, but that's totally okay. You can still exhibit if you'd like, so. Um, we have a couple of programs that promote um, exploration. Um, Alternative Breaks is a week-long service learning trip that is connected to a three credit course. This program is dedicated to preparing students on a social justice issue, um, such as poverty, hunger and homelessness, access to education, shelter, environmental stewardship, and more. So these students learn the facts associated with these issues, what they can do to help, and how to become better leaders in their communities. So some of the locations that they have gone to in the past include Washington, D.C., Catalina Island, New York City, and New Orleans. So that's pretty cool. If you're wanting to travel a bit, that's a great opportunity. Um, another opportunity, if you're looking to leave Kansas for a while, um, the National Student Exchange is the perfect opportunity for you. Um, this allows you to study at a domestic university for up to a full academic year while paying Wichita State tuition. Um, and so, yeah, those are both great opportunities if you're wanting to explore and um, see new places. So I don't know if you want to partake in the activity. I know there's only one of us here, um, <laughs> but we could go ahead and do it if you're wanting to help. <laughs> Jenna, sure. you can join in as well if you'd like. Um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty short. There's only like five questions. So um, if you'd like, we could go ahead and do it this way. It's called this or that. So these questions are, which would be the hardest to live without? Your cell phone or movies and TV? That's difficult. <laughs> I, I asked these questions yesterday uh, on a group visit and all those students, they were high schoolers, they went for the cell phone, I will say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards cell phone. Cell phone? I would like to not want to say cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. I would agree. I would probably go with cell phone as well, um, just for being able to call people as well. And I get stuck on videos all the time, short videos. But yeah, um, so that's the first question. Um, as you can see, this picture um, features some students from an outdoor movie. And so we have, um, we have students go to the football field and you can watch a movie there. We've had a variety of different movies um, last, this last year and it's a lot of fun. That's cool. All right, what is one thing you're currently involved in? I know that <laughs> I know you said you work full time, so maybe you haven't had the opportunity to. So if we want to change the question, we could change it to what is one thing you would like to get involved in? Would it be fine arts or would it be sports related? It would definitely be fine arts for me. Um, when I do have time, I usually perform in, in shows like theater shows. I do dinner cool. theater and things like that. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities for that within the theater program as well. Um, so that might be definitely worth checking out. Yeah. I used to do theater in high school. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that group. See, I was in both, so I can't pick between the two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I did some sports too, but yeah, they, they were both a lot of fun. Yes. All right, so are you a dog person or a cat person? Maybe. Dog. Dog, yes. One hundred percent. I also have both. You have both. <laughs> no, 
nice. Yeah, my apartment is full right now. We have two dogs and one cat. Um, my mm. roommates have one, and I have a dog. So um, I got to lean on the side of the dog, although I do like both. Um, this picture is a pet pug a couple of years back. Um, it was around finals week, and it was a way for students to be stress, and they got to go and pet puppies for a bit. So um, I, I always enjoyed that event. <laughs> All right, if you could be a superhero, which one would you want as your sidekick? Would it be Batman or Superman? Superman. Superman, all right. Is that you, Jenna, too? Same. <laughs> all right. Um, I had to put this picture in there because it was during Costume Casino. Um, it was a little casino night, but it was also dress up, so the student had to, you know, support his Superman. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What, where, what, wow, I can't read. Would you rather go skydiving or bungee jumping? Skydiving. Skydiving. Can it be on that thing? Does it have to be like the real thing or can it be that? The real thing, but um, I, I put that one in there because I'm like, well, you know, it's bungee jumping, but you know, actual bungee jumping. I, I don't know if I could do either. I don't know. No, no, you, no. I don't know that I could do that thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> I could I could do this one. This one is that back to school bash, which is what I mentioned earlier. Um, these are some, you know, beyond inflatables. They had this bungee jumping as well. I feel a little more safer on that one though. I will say that. Well, that was it for the activity. Thank you for, you know, for taking <laughs> that. But um, some benefits of involvement, you know, um, statistics have shown that you're more likely to stay at Wichita State and graduate. You're more likely to build a network of friends and professionals. Involvement allows you the opportunity to attend conferences and workshops that will ultimately help you gain new skills. And of course, it's important to have fun and make memories as well. So um, I, I stress that a lot because, you know, students have, they're very busy, you know, I mean, it's, it's stuck in through all the classes and everything, but I think it's important to, you know, pause and enjoy your time as well so um and you know that's about it for this presentation you know um feel free to follow us on social media um if you want me to go back i can go back and you can subscribe to our newsy as well but um that's about it do you have any questions or anything i, I don't believe i have any questions I can't think of any at least, um, but this is really good for me to know. I'm glad that you guys put those websites in there for me to go to to find involvement um, or ways to get involved. And I'm really glad that there's options for um, uh, family events. So that's really cool. Those are some pretty big events. They're a lot of fun. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a, 